In this video, we're going to focus on the DKIM portion of the GCA DMARC setup guide. Now, DKIM stands for Domain Key Identified Mail, and the purpose of DKIM is to add a digital signature to each and every message that goes out of your domain through your mail servers or through any authorized servers that are sending mail on your organization's behalf. Now, DKIM is unique in a way that you can't do just a regular search for a DKIM DNS record. You actually have to have additional information, and that information is called the selector. Now, the selector can be any name that and is unique to an organization for the DNS record name. So, this is why, by default, when you have DKIM, the results page will not exactly show you whether you have DKIM or not, unless we have checked for it in the past. So, in this case, for example, example.com does not have a DKIM record that we are aware of. Now, there are two options you can do and before going through the setup guide to check to see if DKIM is associated with your domain. And if it is, there, the way you could do it, and if you think that there is, you can supply, one, the selector information. And again, that selector is that unique name for the DKIM record and for your organization. So if you are aware of what it is, you can place it in here, click Submit. And if that selector is accurate and correct, the red X will change to a green check mark. Now, if you're still not sure what it is and you're not aware what the selector is, but you may think that the DKIM does exist, the other option is to supply your email address. And it has to be an email address for the domain that you're looking up. So in this case, since it, the domain is example.com, an email address could be user at example.com. And the reason for this is because obviously that email is going to come to that address. So if you're trying to send it to somebody else, that email will go to that other person. So <clears throat> once the email is sent, then the email will come from DKIM at globalcyberalliance.org, all you have to do is reply back to that email, not adding any additional information, just reply and send it out. And then what will happen is, is when through the back end within a few seconds, this page will automatically refresh. And if there is a selector inside of that email address, then this DKIM red X will change to a green check mark. However, if there is no DKIM record, it will remain as a red X. So in this case, we don't own example.com, so we're just going to go through the process of how, DK, how to set up DKIM. So we'll click on DKIM here and then press next. So again, first off with the DMARC guide, you'll set up with the, is what DKIM is. And again, D, DKIM stands for Domain Keys Identified Mail. So this process here just gives you a brief explanation and then would confirm that you are going to use example.com. So we press next. Now again, this is what we had mentioned before. The selector is, again, what you decide to name your DKIM record. And it can be anything that you choose to have. However, we're going to, with our options, we provide quite a few that are, can, are most people will use for their organization, or at least the ones that we've seen the most widely used. So in this case, we'll stick with default. Then we press next. Now we need to supply the, pub, the public key. Now, we don't generate the public or the private key for you. You do have to use other tools or third-party tools in order to do so. However, if you are using a third-party vendor or if you have a mail gateway, in most cases, they will actually provide you with the public key. So what will happen is, is that they will generate the private key and keep it on their, on their back end or in their systems, and then they will give you the public key and what it needs to look like and give you that TXT record. So... Once you have that information, you can either place it in here, up top in the text box, or you, you create the DNS record as needed. Now the other thing is, is that some organizations, if you have your own email servers, then the DKIM key may have to be generated on your own, and you have options in terms of generating those keys, and it'll generate the private key and the public key for you. One way is to use a third-party tool called Open DKIM. So that will have various tools which will assist you with the creation of the DKIM key and then the implementation of the DKIM keys. <clears throat> the other option is, is to use OpenSSL, and that can be used to generate uh, your private key and public keys, as you can see from the commands below. So the command here, which is I just highlighted, will, op will create your private key, and then the one below here is the one that will create your um, public key. But now the important thing is, is to make sure that you do put your DKIM private keys in a location specified by the key DKIM installation, but also make sure that that folder is restricted access because you do not want anyone to get access to your private keys. So in this case here for now, I'm just going to make up a little bit more of text here and then press next. And now what you have is your DKIM TXT record that you need to be, that you need to create or implement onto your DNS server. 
So a few key things to focus on here. One, the default here is again, that is your selector name. The DKIM string will always have underscore domain, domain key as the second part, and then the remaining part is your domain. Then the information between the quotes is the value that you would implement for your TXT record. At this point, once it's done, you place it in, then go ahead and confirm the process again and to confirm in order that your DKIM is implemented correctly or not. Just take into account some inf additional information that DKIM keys can now support 2048-bit keys. However, not all DNS providers will support 2048-bit keys. In most cases, they'll only support 10, 24-bit keys. However, if you want to do a 2048-bit key, you do have to create multi-line text records. But again, you, have, you do need to confirm that the DNS provider or the DNS system that you're using will support and allow for this. This is how you will implement DKIM. The next step after this is to implement a DMARC. Thank you for joining this video.